Work for Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rukar Kadash, the Ba'an of the Apostles at Great Millstone. Uh, here, Trump has arrived or. How important Arriving in the UK as we speak. And, um, you know, we know Trump, uh, you know, we're all for Trump because Trump is showing you tribes of the your 12 tribes you whether you negroes west indians puerto ricans native americans so-called spanish-speaking latin tribes um he's showing you dudes that you're that he's he's the devil that the bible speaks of he's showing his his horns you know you know this man's showing his horns and then you know the thing is now is coming over to the uk and there's he's he's criticizing the UK for their borders and saying that they're getting a lot of terrorism and stuff and they ain't got the right borders and immigration and a lot of people in the UK, certain a lot of leaders and stuff are basically caught they think that he's an extreme figure, he's not politically correct. So Trump, this is prophecies man, Trump Trump's gonna, you know, through the spirit, man. Trump's gotta be the dude to kick this World War Three off. He meant before he come over here, he mentioned Putin. He mentioned. He said it's. He said it's actually gonna be easier to do with Putin in the UK. Now, through the through through the scriptures, the UK, they're not gonna agree with America, and they're gonna end up nuking America anyway. The mother. Uh, the scripture is something like your mother shall. I hate you or something like that but I got a scripture for that anyway but it just shows you that we're in the signs of the times of the end now this is a big thing and one of the things that he's talking about because as you see in America right now you got the whole thing going on with the, the tribe of Issachar which is the Mexicans and their children and here it is they're called them, them illegal aliens when that very land they're on <laughs> belongs to the tribe of Issachar anyway Gad uh, uh, Reuben and Issachar so you know how are you going to be on someone's land take them over and then tell them you can't come in when you're on their land anyway one thing about this world is that they like to be politically correct especially the British faggots you know these aristocrat British faggots they like to be politically correct but Trump he's coming out and he's just being he's just being open with it because Esau likes to portray himself as an angel of light he doesn't really like to come out and, and make it look like he's the devil he, he likes to try and act like he's righteous so obviously the people in the UK they've got an issue with that so he's, he's here or he's coming here he's on his way or I should say he's here and they're going to have some talks about this but let me go into this uh, this is the book of um, Revelation 17 and 16 and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So the allied nations, the allied nations, they're eventually, these allied nations, they're eventually going to come against America and the UK. And you can see how you can see how that would happen, because the UK that. You, Trump said he's got UK supporters. Yes, he does. He's got them type of dudes that don't want any any other race in there except for Edomites. Because you got devils like this in England all over the place that really they want every other race of people out to get kicked out of the UK. So they're with Trump's because the you because you've seen a lot of these so-called set up psy up attacks that have been happening in England. So they're just saying just get rid of every every race. So you've got people that support him, but then you've got the people, you've got a lot of these leaders that they're saying, look, man, this dude, he's pretty much, he's racist and we don't want to come across like that. Okay. So we're in the signs of the end and this man, he's going to do something. These, these America's going to do something and pretty much you're going to kick World War Three off and that's going to have it where a lot of these nations are going to turn on America. Something's going to happen. Very straight outright America's fault because the scripture says the least shall draw them out. So Israel is going to cause America to just do some, like going to Iran. You know, America's 
stirring shit up yeah. Through the through this Trump. So you know that's the scriptures and the prophecies, you know, coming to play. And we know that we're in the end times, you know what? Let me get um another scripture. Uh, how we could Um, two and two and the Lord Yahweh answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that reader from what you got to understand is the men the prophets of old they they, they got visions and stuff like that of, the, of this kingdom we're living in there's always been prophets you know so we're here in this time and the scripture says there ain't hardly any faith on the earth so where the where the men that are here to break these things down to you? That this is the end times. All these, all these nations: Russia, China, Iran, America. I should have, I have to mention America first. With these missile powers, this is the World War Three that the scriptures talks about. This is Armageddon. All talking about in the scriptures. Habakkuk two and three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So it seems like things are tarrying. Because you'd really want it to happen overnight, and we're in 2018 now. But when you check it out, it's really not tarrying, because... Look at what's going on. If you're really into geopolitics, you've got all types of YouTube channels now talking about... Standard, like, economic forums talking about the crash of the dollar. Talking about... you got truth talking about World War Three. First of all, you got the prophets out there, and that's the main sign of the end. The truth shall be preached in the four corners of the world, and then the end shall come. So what is this showing you? These things are showing you where in the end, as, as the scripture speaks. And like I said, you know, you've got these all these different types of people. You watch the news. They actually talk about World War Three on mainstream news. You know, that's why people, a lot of these people don't, they don't like Trump and people because he's he's really pushing this 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 war and a lot of nations there's certain nations out here that don't want this war like a lot of these the ten horns they don't really want to go to war a lot of them crackers over in Europe man a lot of these crackers they don't want war because they want to they want to live they want to live the way they're living now and it's really these so-called Jews these elites and these Rothschilds pushing for this World War Three using what America their kingdom, their, their whole, their great kingdom, their great corporation, Babylon. So this is the end as, as you see it, man. You know, and, 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 and this thing, this thing is right at the door. Okay. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall speak and lie not. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay, so let me get um, the book of. Um, actually, let me um, let me read this. Habakkuk two and twelve. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, and establish a city by iniquity. And that's how America was got through blood, through iniquity, through killing the tribes of Israel. Because the whole reason why World War Three is happening is so the rights, so the, the tribes of Israel can write the elect of the tribes. Yahweh Shai can come back, sit on the throne, and. And, and and this can this the reset button can get pressed because the Lord's chosen people are the, the Israelites. Now a lot of you other nations mock and scorn at that, but it doesn't matter because you're not going to be in power next. The scriptures tells you that Lord's chosen are, are the Israelites. The tribes and the so-called Mexicans, the so-called Native Americans, the so-called Negroes, the so-called West Indians. These are the tribes of Israel. Micah 2 and 10 Arise ye and depart For this is not your rest Because it is polluted It shall destroy you Even with a sore destruction So this ain't the time We're trying to make it in this world And anywhere you go Our people are destroyed This is not our world This is not our world This is the world of the devil And we're seeing the end of it We're seeing the end of this world Okay Right in your face Anyway, this is a topic I like. I could be on this topic, you know, for ages. Um, I'm going to cut it here. Um, I'm going to say, um, you know, the mark of the beast is going to be made mandatory. 
and you know you see how a lot of these border patrols and a lot of these immigration things that's easy it's easy to bring it in that's an easy way to bring that in and they're going to use different angles for just convenience and all types of things but they can use that border control patrols and stuff like that because this seems to be a big issue these borders so how do you monitor people ultimately by putting a chip in them so the mark, mark of the beast is going to be made mandatory so we've seen we've seen the prophecy of the mark of the beast in full play um but anyway i through the spirit lord would i probably come back and cover this again or something um you know but we've got to keep our eyes on these on this news and 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 report man you know don't get don't get caught up into the world man throw up praise and you know that goes for myself Fuck the world, you know, the world, this world, first of all, it represents death for you as an Israelite anyway. Frustration, death, annoyance, you know what I mean? Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom.